Hey, 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 welcome back, biatches. So, let's have a look at this and uh, try and get uh, our heads around whether or not the game is actually over. Looking at Sicily 2 from the uh, OCS system, Multiman Publishing, etc., etc. Uh, this is the one mapper version of the Sicily game. I wanted to give you a kind of a, a situational update as to where we're at. It's the... Uh, Yep, it's the uh, German turn in the 10th of August, and we've managed to extricate the uh, dudes that were in reserve, get them up with half movement uh, to the uh, ferry points up here. There are four ferry points here, and ferry units across. These guys were already here, uh, and ferry units across. That's given us 13 uh, steps exited off the map. Let me just check the ferry capacity real quick for you. Access something or other special rules. Where is it? Ships and ferries. Yeah, each one of the, can, each one of the ferry routes can move one SP. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, and we had a defensive line just below the camera where you can see down here. Uh, right across here We took a loss here and had to retreat and we set up a new line here. I then decided that rather than setting up that new line I would uh, uh, flip the DG units to move mode We dumped them back behind the line here We've cleared the DG's off because it's the end of the turn and we just put some ash and trash crap in the way to uh, eat up overrun attempts and attacks so that uh, these guys can move off next turn. Now the reality is that with all these forces here and some guys in reserve whatnot, we may not get to, they may, none of those units here may survive and some of these may die. So let's, let's have a look at what that means for the victory point total. As of turn 10, we start getting, or t uh, the August turn I should say, the 10th, we don't get a victory point this turn. At the beginning of next turn we do, we get one. And then I can get uh, two more uh, victory points uh, if we last two more turns. And that would give us two victory points. So let's keep that in mind too. I've got, uh, this turn I put some air, heavy air on the naval forces over here that are trying to reduce the Palermo uh, uh, port. And if I kill one of those, I believe that will give me one more victory point. That will be three. That means that for a full, complete uh, German successful exit, etc., I would need to get four victory points from the uh, extricating axis units off the map, which means I need, to, I need to get between 24 and 29 steps off. Alternatively, if I lasted one more turn or sunk one more ship, Actually, that's not correct. The ships, uh, the ships add to the tally. So let's see. I said we had uh, two for the uh, the turns, and then the ships are only going to add to the total here. So that's not going to bump us up as much as I thought. <clears throat> so that still means I would need I would need either twenty four to twenty nine and an extra turn, or thirty to thirty five uh, steps exited. So I've got 13 off so far. There's uh, 16, 17 here. That makes it 17. Uh, we'll get these two off, 18, 19. 18, 19. And if my hand is shaking or my arm is shaking, it's because I just uh, did bench press this morning and so I can feel my pathetic little pectoral muscle twitching. And so 17, I said there, right? Three, four, yes, yeah, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, I probably won't get the naval warfare off, 23, 24, there's 24 right there, 24, 25, 26, I've got to assume that I'll lose half of these, 26, so there's 2, 4, 6 there, uh, 26, it'll be 29 if I got half of those guys off, 29, that's kind of skinny, kind of tight, get a ship knocked out that would make it 30 so really these guys have to be able to hold for the next turn 
and two more turns, which makes it real close, right? So let's let's imagine that uh, these units, these guys all get eliminated. These forces push up here. These guys get attacked. We lose one unit, perhaps. They dump back to here. These guys all exit off. And then it's a matter of can uh, a couple of small units here hold long enough for another two turns. And that makes it kind of iffy, right? If you take two, the balancing act here is taking just enough force off so you can manage a defensive line and not taking too much off that the, 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 the Commonwealth or the Americans on the other side of the map uh, race through and, uh, you know, kill all your guys. I do have two units in Palermo that I can use shipping to ship to Messina and then ferry across. Because uh, technically, I think they, they have to ferry out. That seems like kind of a weird rule, but nevertheless, it's kind of a double step. That would give me two more. So at the end of the day, I think the best that the uh, Axis could do is end up with uh, six VPs, which would be a draw. Um, if they got really lucky, I would say they could they could certainly get a win just purely by uh, hanging out an extra turn. You know, it makes me wonder now if I maybe took too much off too soon. I probably could have waited a turn, but you've still got to be able to, you've still got to have the varying capacity to exit stuff. So I think it's smarter to get some units off the board, get a baseline uh, set of VPs, and then rely on rely on. Uh, uh, so a little bit of luck to, to get the rest off. I've got a small handful of other units down here, two or three that might make it off the map, but I doubt it. Uh, there's two. There's two there. These little, these little guys don't count. Well, that actually, that would count. He's a three-rated unit. We could move him off as well, but he probably won't make the distance in time. Uh, Germans can't use strat move, so. Hmm. So there you have it. I think, uh, I think the last video I said that I would uh, play one more turn. This is the end of the 10th. So let's see what happens in the 14th and see how much damage the allies can do here with the British uh, pounding on this stuff. All the, all the Americans are really caring about right now is trying to stop any extra units getting off here. And I think they could do that by uh, actually just moving this little artillery unit up let it be out of supply or, or take a T down. Look, there's there's an armor unit. We put these two guys down here. That would stop those uh, one, two, three units from getting off. Uh, I'm not gonna get past there. It's too much strength there, even though I do have uh, a full division. They, they would have a hard time kind of just squeaking along there. Um, so, it's nip and tuck. It's been an interesting game. You know, I'm, I don't know that I'll play. We'll see. Uh, I think this plays uh, probably very similarly to similarly to uh, the original Sicily. Whether or not it is uh, any better, it's certainly faster playing and cleaner on the board. There's less uh, less units on the board, but it does seem to restrict the Germans' choices in terms of where they defend. They really don't have enough units on the map because you you when you have a division. You don't have all the breakdowns uh, for the Kampf groups and stuff like that. So you have to really pull back uh, because you just don't have enough units. Otherwise, you're going to end up being surrounded. So I think it ends up like this every time. Hold up on these two passes and trying to keep keep this road open. I would say if I played this again, I would not take the Fallschirmjäger down and drop them into here. That was probably a mistake. Uh, yeah, I would I would bring them in over here and defend a line across, you know, basically across Mount Etna somewhere here, and then just try and hold on till turn 10 to your lab start ferrying off and then go from there, which makes it a siege game and uh, not a maneuver game. And that, that probably would be the biggest negative, I would say. Anyway, that's where we're at right now. I'll uh, work out whether or not I want to play another turn. I'm, I'm a, a two minds, which probably says something right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the live play. I did want to do some further live play with you 
uh, to wrap things up, but it just didn't seem like it was going to be that interesting watching me count points and shuffle around. So we'll, uh, we've got some cool live play stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Talk to you soon.